and this is Eminem Plus Proof. This video is basically how to make fish chum. Uh, it's very simple, it consists of three ingredients, and all you need for it is a mixing bowl, cornflakes, two bags of cornflakes about this size, and some water, about half a cup. Now, what you do first is you pour your two bags of cornflakes into the bowl. Then, you, gra you crush them up into little tiny pieces. Once that's done, you get your water. You pour it into the bowl, just a little by little, just a little tiny bit of water at a time. You keep mushing them up with your hands or a spoon, but it's better with your hands because you can crush them too. Then, once all your water's in, you get your flour which is all over the deck. Okay, so the flour, you can use about that much, I mean, this much of flour in a bowl this big. It really depends how big your bowl is. The bigger the bowl, the more flour you're gonna need. The smaller the bowl, the less flour you're gonna need. Okay, so then when you get the flour, you pour it in, all of it and then you mix it up mix it up and you should um, test the flour out by picking up the, the cornflakes and rolling them into little balls right and seeing if they stick or not if they're not sticking you need more flour I've got a little ball right here it's sticking pretty good and it's sticked when I just threw it stick together so that's pretty good now I've already done this okay that's why the balls are messy and every bags empty I had it on video cam I didn't think it was I thought it was on but it wasn't so I did the whole process with me talking to myself for about five minutes what a fail Anyway, that chum will get you catfish, carp, other fish like that, some sheephead, and a tip about sheephead is they play dead. So if you catch one and you throw it back in the water and it floats back up, don't worry, don't fall for its trick. It's just playing dead. So you may want to take, if you want a big bowl like this, you may want to take one bag at a time if you make a lot of it. This will probably last me about 10 fishing trips. So if you make a big bucket of it, you're going to want to keep it fresh. I'm going to clean up now. And I'm going fishing. Okay, see you later.